Yo, what's going on, guys? Then by your four simple snippets, and welcome back to the ninth video tutorial under the Dynamic Web Application Development course with ASP.NET and C# programming and MS SQL as the database with Bootstrap styling. And I know it's a huge topic name, but yeah, welcome back. If you followed this entire playlist so far, in the previous video tutorial, we designed the author details, that is the author management page and the publisher management page. So this is how the author management was looking, and if you see the publisher management. This is how the publisher details were looking like. So the, these two were the admin pages that we designed. We did not do the backend coding because we are still designing all the pages. And in this video, we're going to be designing the book issuing page. Okay. So we still have three pages left. That is book inventory page, the book issuing page and the member management. So we'll do the book issuing page in this tutorial. And to give you an overview about how this book issuing looks like, let's go on to our demo website. So there you go. This is how our book issuing looks like. On the left hand side, what we have is whenever a member comes into the library, he or she is going to want some book, right? Or maybe he or she is coming to return some book. So either he or she is going to get issued a book or he or she is going to return the book. So the admin or the librarian who's sitting, he or she is going to enter the member ID, enter the book ID. When you click on go, the book details will show up. Let's actually try to enter some member ID. We know TS 11. Let's try to enter some book ID B002. If I click on go, you can see I'm getting the name Tanmay Sakpal and this is the book name how to win friends. Okay. Now let's say I want to issue this book to Tanmay Sakpal who's come over here for the book. So the start date, I'm going to enter the start date. Let's say today is the start date and the date that I'm making this video is 7th of October. Let's say the end date is one week from now. So it's 14th, right? Now when I click on issue book, this entry will be stored in this table issue book list table. I click on issue book. I get OK and there you go. That entry is added. Now, if you're wondering why this entry is looking in red, it is because this member ID TS 11, that is the member name Tanmay Sakpal had taken a book of B001 and this is the book name. The issue date was 19th of September and due date was 26 September. So since 26 September has passed, he still hasn't returned that book. And that's why it is showing in red. So he's in defaulters list. Okay. So whenever a new member comes in and he wants to issue book, the admin or the librarian can quickly check his user ID. If I type in, you know, if I let's, let me just type in some uh, book ID B001. If I say B001, his entry shows up and I can immediately see it is marked in red. So I can say, you know what, you haven't returned the book. So you first return your first book and then only I'm going to issue the other book and whatever criteria the library has. Okay. So this is the interface that we have to make. Obviously, this is a working form. What we are going to design on our web page is not going to be working because we're just designing right now. Later on, once we design all the web pages, we will add all this backend code of, you know, issuing the book, returning the book and so on and so forth. So let's come to our web page. Now, this is the publisher management page. We have to create the book issuing page, right? So let's go ahead and quickly create this page. Let's go to our Visual Studio ID. So coming to our project, right click and let's add a content page. Go to add new item under the web, under the web forms. We need web form with master page. We have to change the name to admin book issuing page or something like that, you know. So let's name it admin book issuing. Hit enter and we want site one as the master page. We've already talked about master page long back. I hope you know that. I'm going to click OK. So our content page is ready. So this page is going to be loaded in the master page. I'm going to hit enter. Here's where all the content is going to be. Now coming back to the demo, this is how the UI is going to look like. What we'll do, we can see, we can easily observe that this is a two column user interface. So we have one column entirely for book issuing and we have one entire column for issued book list. When I'm saying column, it means the class column in bootstrap. I hope you know that. And you can see that this container is a fluid container because it is stretched to the ends. If you see this publisher management page, the container is not stretched to the end because the class is using con container and not container hyphen fluid. When you use container hyphen fluid, the ends get stretched to the end. Okay. So these ends will be stretched till the very end of the screen. So we'll use the same UI. We just need to replace it with these text boxes. So on the right hand side over here, we have a grid view, but right now it's not visible because we don't have any data coming in. 
So what we'll do, we'll just copy this publisher details page and then remodel it and change things to make it look something like this. Okay. So first things first, let's load our admin book issuing dot ASPX page. Let's save this and I'm going to say admin. Okay. First refresh this. Then we have to say admin book issuing. Hit enter. And we are seeing a blank page because we've added nothing right now. So coming to our code now, what we'll do, we'll go to the admin author management, simply copy this entire container right now, go to the admin book issuing, paste it over here. If I save this and if I refresh it, the entire thing gets added onto this page. You can see it will show up in a minute. There you go. We've got it. Now we have to make this form look something like this. Okay. So let's start off from, from the left column on the left hand side. First off, first of all, we need to make this a container fluid thing. So coming to the top, change this to container hyphen fluid. Okay. Now that's done. Save this. The next thing is this has to be titled as book issuing and this has to be changed to a book icon. So we'll change this to book issuing. We have to change this to a image, which is known as books. So let's see. There you go. We have books dot PNG. Save this hit refresh. Okay. So you can see the container is now stretched to the end because we use the class of container hyphen fluid. We've added book issuing and the image. So first two parts is done. Now over here, you can see the form is split into two equal parts. We have six text boxes, which are equal in length. So we just need to copy these text boxes and paste it two more times with the equal lens. And we have a go button over here. So let's make those changes in this code. So let's minimize this row. Let's minimize this row. Let's minimize the horizontal rule row. Okay. Now we have author ID. What do we have over here? We have member ID and book ID. So let's make those changes. We have member ID. We have book ID. Okay. And the ASP button is actually over here, you know, so let's actually cut this entire division and paste it after this division. And then this has to be member ID and this has to be book ID. Okay. Now the split between these two divisions is you can see eight and four. We want it a equal split. So we'll say six and six because if this, this division is taking six spaces and this division is taking six spaces. Totally in this row, the 12 spaces are occupied and we know in bootstrap uh, entire row can be divided in 12 columns. Okay. So saving this hit refresh, go to our code and yeah, we have member ID and book ID. Of course, we need to change the placeholders also. So coming to the code, changing the placeholders. Also, this also has to change to book ID. Okay. What do we have next? We have member name and book name. So what we'll do is simply copy this top code or you know what it, we can simply copy this entire row, hit enter, paste it over here. We don't want this division because it has a group element. We want this and this has to be member name. Okay. Copy this placeholder also has to be member name. Copy this division, hit enter. We have member name and book name, right? So this has to be book. Just copy this, change the placeholder, save, hit refresh and let's see our form now. Okay. So we've added member name, book name. If you see the demo, these two text boxes are read only. You can see they are grayed out. So we need a read only text box. So we'll come over here. We'll change the properties of this ASP box. Just select the, just click on this text box and the property show up over here. Go to the behavior. I guess it is uh, yeah, read only true. Come to this text box, read only true. If you double tap on it, the property changes to true or false, or you can click on this icon, save this. All right. Now these two would be read only, but after that we have two more text boxes which say start date and end date. So let's actually go ahead and again, copy this entire row, hit enter, hit paste. Now it has to be start date and end date, right? So we have start date. And then we have copying this, we have end date. Now these two things are not read only. So let's erase this. Let's erase this. 
we don't even need placeholders but let's add placeholders as start date and end date now the text box type over here has to be a little different so coming to the behavior we have to go scroll down and go to the text mode here you can see single line here we want date okay so scroll up we have date time we have date time local but we want only date so select date similarly over here also we need date scroll up and select this save this and let's refresh okay so there you go the last two text boxes have also been added and lastly we need only two buttons which is issue button and return button so we we don't need three buttons so let's change this format so over here we already have three buttons right so let's remove one button make this six and make this six change the text to issue let's give this a color of blue by changing the class to primary so btn hyphen primary makes or gives it a color of blue if you don't know where i'm getting these classes from go to the getbootstrap.com website go to the documentations type in button you can see component buttons just click on it and there you go you can see these are the classes class btn btn hyphen primary then we have some more classes which i have added we have btn outline to give this look you know you can give this look also we have different sizes of button we have btn hyphen lg btn hyphen sm okay there you go you can see those classes btn hyphen lg the btn block will take the entire block and so on and so forth so this getbootstrap.com has all these classes and when you apply all these css classes to these buttons they get all the styling by default i'm assuming you guys already know it anyways so first things first we did primary so this would give it a blue color the return is green and that has to be success s u c c e s s hopefully let's refresh okay so there you go issue button and delete button is added just like this we have the back back to home button which will take us to home page if i click on it there you go you can see it's a static link anyways on the right hand side we just need issued book list as the heading right this has to be the heading so let's change that scroll down this is the so the first column ends over here you know let's minimize this entire column which is taking five spaces so this is that entire column which is taking five spaces and the next column that is taking seven spaces starts from over here which is this actual grid view now there is a grid view already added over here but we cannot see it because it's not lo loading any data it's static we just need to change this heading text to issued book list okay so let's do that it's over here h4 change it save it and hit refresh and that's about it guys we've literally created the design in an instant and i know i sped up a little bit my speed was a little higher because i'm assuming that by now after watching so many tutorials you must you guys must have got a hang of it in fact you guys can go ahead and do a lot of creativity you can add colors and you can use different classes and what not go to you know get bootstrap.com explore this entire documentation you can add a lot of things over here so yeah this was the book issuing page now only book inventory and member management page is left so we'll do that in the next video tutorial and that's it for this video guys this was just designing this web page soon we will start off with the development part i hope you've subscribed and turn on the notifications so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial and if you're liking this course please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends give me your feedback i really need that and your support is really really appreciated so thanks for watching see you in the next one peace